As I convinced myself that there was going to be a burglar that broke into my home and then skinned my cats alive, and I would walk in and they'd be hanging. Uh, and then I told that to my like guidance counselor, and she was like, mm, therapy? Yeah. So then I had to go to therapy. Right. 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 I got a podcast! Add to the, add to the, no, no, no. <laughs>Welcome back to another episode of my podcast. I'm literally screaming. It is me, Spensoa, and every week I'm joined by a new guest while we just, I don't know, blabber, talk, talk about shit that's going on in our everyday lives. And today I have a very special guest by the name Lars. Hey guys. So mm-hmm. Lars. What's up, babe? How was... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, guys, I have something really fun to tell all of you. So me and Lars decided in the beginning of this episode that we are going to tell a lie. Somewhere in this episode, we don't know what we're going to be lying about. We don't know how it's going to come about, but we're going to lie. And then we're going to tell you what the lie is at the end of the episode. Because we're really good at lying. So you're going to have you're, we're going to put it to the test. Yeah. Well, no, I'm really I mean, like, I would say I'm really good at lying. But like, if I have I think to, you I have are. To. from what I've seen so far, I'd say you're good. You know lying. how I'm good. At, you know how I know I'm good at lying? Why? Whenever my mom has ever called me and I have been under the influence of alcohol for some reason, Snap I'm out sober. Of oh my God, no, Sam. I'm like, hi, yeah, no, I've been actually working out for the past five hours and I feel great. <laughs> They're like, um, it's two in the morning. Yeah. Mm, yeah, what are you doing up? <laughs> or I'll text them and be like, where were you up to last night? I was like, literally just chilling at home, nothing. Like, I, I just was just reading you. my book on psychology. I was like, pra- I was meditating. And watching National Geographic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. TED Talks. But yeah, how was your week? Um, because this week I had my uh, antidepressant dosage raised. Woo! Yes. Wait. So let's talk about that. What are you, What are you on? Oh, I'm on Zoloft, and I'm on. Okay. Actually, this is what's like really funny. So I was like, I went in to see my psychiatrist, and I was talking to her, and I was telling her how like terrible my anxiety is, yeah. and I was like, I don't know what it is, but like my anxiety is horrendous, and I like. I don't know if it's because like I'm on my Adderall, but like the doses are the dosage I'm at with Adderall is fine. Yeah. And then she was like, "Oh, so like what dosage is antidepressant?" I'm on Zoloft, um, and I said 50 milligrams. And then she was like, "Let me look at my dictionary." Like she had like a dictionary on her phone where she looked up like how high a dosage can be. Oh God. Apparently, Zoloft can go up to 250 milligrams. Okay. So she was like, "Yeah, we're gonna raise this dosage, but I have a feeling we're gonna have to do it again." Well, so I'm at 75 right now. It's all part of the journey. (laughs) Uh, How many milligrams are you on? I'm on 30 milligrams of mirtazapine. I've been on it for like three years and it's been pretty good. I just had a shitty high school experience and I was like, we're going to we're going to deal with this now. Um, Santa Rosa, California. It's like I say Bay Area, but everyone from the Bay Area is going to hate me for saying that because it's like 30 minutes north. But you know, uh, that's like people from New Jersey. Like if if anyone's ever like, oh, I'm from Central Jersey. Everyone from New Jersey, yeah. is like Central Jersey doesn't exist. Yes, it does, bitch. It's at this point, it's like, why are we just shut the f- up and let me talk? No, like yeah, I, actually yeah. yeah. But yeah, so I'm from Santa Rosa, California. I just like grew. I never liked school, hmm. so I just was always kind of like anxious and just like crying. <laughs> I don't know, you know. Oh. But like I was like doing things. It was just like in the off times. It was just. I never really liked going to school, and I haven't gone back since high school. Was it, like, the people there or just, like, the anxiety? Just the the good old mental health, you know? I just, like, struggle with anxiety, and I think, like, being in school, like, trapped all day, like, was really, like, not good for me. So we we tried some medications, and I found one that I like, and now we're here. Yeah, I was, like, actually the exact opposite. I mean, like, I was really weird in school. I feel like I've talked about this before, but, like, I didn't really make any friends my friends my freshman year of high school Mm -hmm. i had like a small group of friends but it wasn't until like how do i put this i found a stick outside my freshman year of high school and um just like a regular stick fell off of a tree yeah and i picked it up and i named it sherman and i used to walk around school with it and talk to it in the hallway and then it like dawned upon me one day i was like wow like i really don't have that many friends and then i was like "Mm, maybe it's because you talk to a damn (laughs) stick in the hallway like who else are you gonna talk to well like yeah exactly the stick is probably nicer than everybody you were walking past yeah probably but i did get really good grades in high school but that was because like i had undiagnosed ocd Okay, so yeah. Yeah, you want to hear a really, like, well, this isn't, looking back on it, like, now I can, like, kind of laugh about it, but, like, at the time, I was sobbing my eyes out, Mm -hmm. and I did have to lie on the floor of my guidance counselor's office while she played meditation music, and then put one of those, like, um, what is it, those oral, not oral, the, um, 
oil infusers, oh, the, oil like, diffusers. Essential oil diffusers. Yeah, yeah, no, she had to like lie it down next to me while I looked up at her ceiling for about like 30 <laughs> minutes. What um, an angel. Do you want to know why I had to do that? Do I want to know? Yeah, I yeah, do. Yeah, you do. So I didn't know that I had OCD. Um, mm. I was like never diagnosed. And it wasn't until like my soft, no, this was my actually my freshman year of high school because I oh had God biology and the first person that ever brought it up to me was my biology teacher because she was like spencer you check your bag three times at the <laughs> same time in class she said you check it five minutes before the bell rings you check it five minutes um like bef well before the bell rings for class yeah then i would check it five minutes before the s second bell rang to leave and also check it in the beginning of class and she was like i think you have She's really keeping an eye on you yeah i was also like really smart and didn't have friends yeah. so like there were probably a lot of reasons she kept her eyes on me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I had to keep my own. Yeah. Um, I also did talk with, to a stick. Like, come on. Yeah. Well, where's Sherman now? Oh, probably somewhere, but not with me. Okay. Yeah, Sherman's long gone. Wish you the best, Sherman. Mm -hmm. I have a photo with him on my old school Chromebook. Anywho, I used to have this thing. Before school, I had to check my front and back door. Like, it was either eight or oh, 11 yeah. times. Before you leave, like, check yeah. it. Yeah, so I would, like, take run a video. I would, like, run to the front, jiggle the doorknob, run to the back, jiggle the doorknob. And then on my way back, back like on my way to the back door i would convince myself that the front door was unlocked so it was like a really bad like oh i see so it was like yeah. i would check the front door and then while i was going to the back door to make sure that the back door was locked halfway like down the like driveway i'd be like oh my god my front door is unlocked so i would check the back door then on my way to the front door i'd convince myself that the back door was unlocked yeah anyways one day i'm running really late for the bus and i ended up not checking the doors and I got on the bus and I started bawling my eyes out because I convinced myself that there was going to be a burglar that broke into my home and then skinned my cats alive and I would walk in and they'd be hanging. You have quite the imagination. <laughs> I would walk in and my cats would be like hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. I mean, we all have fears. Uh, and then I told that to my like guidance counselor and she was like, mm, therapy. Yeah. So then I had to go to therapy. Yeah. Well, thank God your cats aren't skinned alive and they're, they're are they doing okay. Are they alive still? Uh, yeah, I actually thought the other day that my one cat, Sky, like, went missing because okay. my mom called me and she was like, hey, so we had a plumber come over and Sky is, like, nowhere to be found. And I did, like, ball in a bathroom. But you uh, found her. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's like she didn't escape. She was just, like, hiding in a wall. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, as yeah. cats do. Like, cats hide in walls. Yeah, they do. So do rats. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my parents are having a rat problem right now, and it's really getting to me. I'm like, yay, Christmas! Can't wait to go home. Your parents? Oh my god! Yeah, no. If I, if I ever, actually, I think I have a bad like, um, like my brain when I think of rats. Like, I don't think of like New York City subway. I think of like. I don't know. Like when I think of a rat, I think of like punching a wall. Can I tell you why? Sure. Because when I first started on TikTok, everyone said that I looked like Linguini from Ratatouille. Okay. And it was like an ongoing thing. And I was like, okay, yeah, like I get it. And then eventually I would just see all these comments being like, OMG, Linguini, Ratatouille. And it would make me so mad. So now whenever I think of like rats. You think of that? Yeah, I want to punch something. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's right. I, people were calling me Jacob Sartorius for a while, <gasps> which isn't an insult, but being compared to someone isn't fun if you don't see it. Right. No, I'm like, like cute, but like <laughs> I, think I don't see it. What hurt me the most was like I saw it. Yeah. Yeah, like with like Napoleon Dynamite and Linguini from Ratatouille. Like You're those like, are all things. Comment filter. No one can comment Linguini. I don't want to do that though because then it's yeah, like no, I never do. Everyone you will find clever it. ways to do it. They'll right? type out Linguini with an exclamation mark. These bitches have nothing to do. We love mm -hmm. them, but they love to troll, and we have to we have to just keep an eye on it. I'm a comment deleter, though. If I see something I don't like, boop, delete. Really? Yeah. Um, I just if I'm block. checking on it. Ooh, smart. Or sometimes my new thing is copy and pasting exactly what they said if it's slightly offensive and commenting on one of their videos because they know that they said it first, <gasps> and they're just like... <gasps> that is actually so clever. Right? I have too much time on my hands, you guys, but it's worth it because then they're like, damn, touche, and I'm like... How do you feel about, like, when people say stuff like, um, what's it called? Like, has anyone ever said something mean about you and, like, you've responded to that comment and then all the comments replying to your comment are like, what is your problem? Why would you say that? Um, yeah, they're like, ugh, you have this platform. I'm like, I have a platform, but I also, like, have emotions. Have emotions. Yeah. I'm like, you have the power to, to comment something. I'm going to do it, too. Nothing too mean because it's just, like, you know, everything that people are saying is just a reflection of what they're thinking about themselves. So it's like kind of sad. But in the moment, I'm always just like, 
you say something and then they're like, oh my God, I didn't think you were actually even going to see it. I'm like, bitch, I see everything. Yeah. Like, I, I see have... things that don't exist. Of course, I'm going to see your comment. Oh, wait, Are you kidding me? Do you see things that don't exist? Are you a I don't want to talk about it. Okay, cool. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there, right? You've been stewing over a health problem. You can't shut up about it. You text everyone in the group chat for advice, but no one is really helping. I'll never forget the time I texted my friends a picture of the inside of my throat with a camera I got online, hoping they could help me. This is a true story, by the way. If you know me, you know I wouldn't make that up. Anyway, none of my friends could help. But you know who could? Literally ZocDoc. ZocDoc helps you find expert doctors and medical professionals that specialize in the care you need and deliver the type of experience you want. Look, when someone is exceptionally good at what they do, whether it's a chef or, let's be honest, my hairstylist, you know you're in good hands. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. No more Dr. Roulette or dark web explanations for your sore throat. With ZocDoc and the free app that millions of users rely on, you can find the right doctor who meets your needs and fits in your schedule. Choose from thousands of patient-reviewed doctor profiles, upload your insurance, and then get the care you need. Period. It's that easy. Go to ZocDoc.com slash screaming and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash screaming. ZocDoc.com slash screaming. Now back to the show. I stay up really late at night. No, oh. I'm just kidding. But I do have sleep paralysis sometimes. I've only ever have had ever sleep had paralysis it? once. Okay, that shit is scary. I was laying on my bed and I had a vision of people running around me, smacking my bed. And then I woke up and my door was closed and no one was in the room. And the, it was terrifying. The one time I had sleep paralysis, it was in, like, well, growing up, my house was haunted. Um, but basically, long story short, I woke up and my legs were, like, raised in the air. Um, and then they like dropped. Like I, you know when you know when you have sleep so paralysis. So you had an exorcism. Well, well, I did have to have one of those. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anyways, is you notice how I didn't say I was lying? I was like, I'm dead. No, serious. yeah, I was waiting for it. Yeah, no, but you're not gonna hear that. Cool. Um, so, anyways, I woke up in the middle of the night and basically like my back was on my bed. You know when you do like um leg raises. It was yeah. almost like someone was holding up my legs. And when I opened my eyes, my legs plopped back down to the bed and I couldn't move. And I saw this like long haired random woman in the corner of my room. And every time I would blink, it was like she would get closer and closer. No, so no, I no. had to like stop blinking. And I was just like this. And, and your body can't move. Can I tell you something that helps you like at least help me get out of sleep paralysis? Please. Um, so I don't know if you know this, but a really good way to wake up in the morning. They like people tell you to do this is to listen to music. Because oh, Britney music... Spears is playing the second night when you go. Right. I listen to, um, what's it called? Recently, I've been listening to uh, Glee covers when I wake up in the morning. Hot. Yeah. Wait, who is your top Spotify artist of the year? Miley Cyrus. <laughs> See, mine was Phoebe Bridgers, and it's <gasps> been Phoebe Bridgers for the past three years, which some I think is concerning. I think it's cultured. No, I think... <laughs> I wish mine was Phoebe Bridgers. Actually, I like Miley Cyrus. I think last yeah, year no, mine was Phoebe artist. Bridgers. Yeah, she she takes the cake. She, like, sense. I just, if I ever, like, okay, first of all, I, I saw her at the 1975, and I need you to know something. It took everything in my power to not rush the stage, jump up there, and be like, pay for my therapy, bitch. <laughs> You're um, like, you did this to me. Everyone's like, are you okay? Like, uh, 180,000 minutes of Phoebe Bridgers. And I'm like, hey, guys, I, I need, I'm Everyone needs a soundtrack. She just happens to be my soundtrack. She's like actually insanely good. Phoebe yeah. Bridgers, if you ever see this podcast, just know I love you. And if I ever saw you in person, I would not rush up to you and then like call you a bitch. I think you're <laughs> f***ing amazing. I'm sorry. I love you. Notice me. I love you, Phoebe. Oh, yeah. What was I talking about before this? Oh, yeah. Sleep paralysis demon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, I feel like we're in wait, Inception. Wait. Last chapter. Okay. Sleep paralysis. If you, if you are having sleep paralysis... Um, my therapist told me this, hum. Try to think of Whoa. a song and hum because music stimulates different parts of your brain. So if you can think of a song and you can Whoa. hum it, it'll help wake you up faster. Well, okay. Noted. Mm-hmm. Gonna tell that to my therapist. They should have told me this by now. Well, maybe they just want your money. True. I was honestly just waiting for Phoebe to like sing about it in a song and I'd be like, okay, cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. So about the exorcism thing. Yeah. Um, I didn't really have like an exorcism. I would just call it like... My mom's coworker, who does, who is like 
Wiccan and Native American had to like come over and do like Reiki on me. Cause that I was, sounds awesome. You, oh, actually, no. Cause I, I, okay, real talk. I was in and out of the hospital for about like a week and a half, and the doctors could not tell me what was wrong with me. Um, but I remember like prior to me getting like sick, it was like, it was so weird. Like I just yeah. got sick out of nowhere. Um, and I was like missing school. My mom was like, what the hell is wrong with Spencer? Like, is it like his asthma? He says he can't oh breathe. Um, but then my, um, I well, I call her my aunt, but she ended up like coming over and asked me if I had dreams where I was like outside of my body. Did, did you? Yeah, I did. I told her, I said, <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't mess I said, around with that. I told her, um, I actually like right before I was like getting sick, I would redid my bedroom at home. Like I painted the walls, I redid everything. And I told my mom, again, my house was haunted. Like I'm not joking. I feel like there should be like a sci fi special about the shit that I went through growing up. Um, Please. <laughs> Let's and, get the ghosts on the pod. You need to like, like literally circle I, back with them. me, like Demi Lovato <laughs> <laughs> singing to the ghosts. Okay, so do you remember when Kesha was gonna have like a spiritual show where she like talked yes, to the ghosts? Yes, I do remember that never happened i know and it's disappointing very disappointed kesha probably not her fault because i know she's going through she, a lot she was going through but a lot, yeah. i was very excited about it so maybe you should step in yeah maybe i should yeah oh, okay but let me get into this one okay so i'm redoing my room and i tell my mom i was like mom the house is not happy and she was like what the hell are you talking about <laughs> and i was like mom like the house is emotions i was like mom like i feel like the house is unhappy with me I ended up finishing, I, like, I painted my room, I finished it. Before I could even get my like furniture back into my room, I remember I like smelt um, rotten eggs. Like, like sulfur? Yeah. Oof, bad so, sign. <laughs> Run. So I literally, Ow. I told my mom, I was like, mom, I think like a pipe burst in my room. And she was like, what? And I was like, mom, it smells like a pipe burst in my room. Like go in my room and smell. So she oh goes my into God. my room and she's like, Spencer, I don't smell anything. So like we're pressing on the walls to see if like, you know when they say that there's like a leakage, if you press on the wall, it will like be soggy. Like you'll be able to. No, I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, like um, <laughs> basically, like we were pressing the walls to see if like it would like indent or anything. Nothing happened, and then my mom was like, "Spencer, take a shower. Maybe it's just your sinuses." So I said, "Okay, take a shower. Go back in my room. Smell is gone. It comes back." And I'm like, "No, I'm not doing this." No, so no, then no, no, I no. went outside, and I literally used to live by um, a bakery. So I'm by the bakery, and I'm like, "Okay, I'm just gonna like smell all this like damn bread." No, it followed me. So then I looked it up and I was like, That's like terrifying. rotten egg smell, this sound the third. And like the second link was like paranormal, like demons smell like the sulfuric lake of hell. Well, that was my first thought. Yeah, no, that wasn't mine. And then I got like really sick, but I was having these like really, I kept waking up in the middle of the night, like startled thinking that my mom was calling my name. Mm. Like I would wake up to like hearing people scream my name and I would automatically assume it was my mother. So I would wake up and I would like run into her room and I'd be like, mom, what's wrong? And she'd be like, nothing. Like, what are you doing in here? Go to bed. Um, and then one night I woke up to someone screaming my name and I was standing next to my bed and sleepwalking does run in my family. So I was like, oh, maybe I sleptwalked. I saw how you would say like I sleepwalked. Yeah. Maybe I like walked. sleepwalked out of the bed and I was just like standing like next to my um, nightstand. My mom comes in my room. And she's like, Night Spencer, I love you. And I was like, Mom, I'm awake. Just keep the light on. I love you too. Turns off the light. And then next thing I know, um, it literally felt like this. I woke up that morning and I go downstairs and I tell my mom, I was like, Mom, like I've been having like such weird dreams. I keep hearing people like call my name in my sleep. And she was like, Spencer, it looks like you literally got zero sleep because it felt like that. Like literally my mom Damn. turned off the light and I woke up. Long story short, um, my aunt who like did the reiki on me had to give me like sage spray and a whole bunch of aunt? well like she's not like she like i grew she's up like, with her okay she's like a okay yeah a and, fa and like family aunts. friend you call aunt totally um so damn guys i will i have not shut the hell up have i no please don't i'm not i want to hear the end of this oh okay so basically my aunt ends up like coming over because i kept telling my mom even beforehand like yeah. all the shit i was saying um and and hearing uh, so my aunt comes over and I told my mom, I was like, if she's coming over, I don't want her to know like that. I like been hearing voices or like anything else like that. Yeah. And she was like, OK, like she won't know. She walks through the door and she said, what the hell is wrong with you? Like literally was like, oh, damn, like what is happening? Um, and she asked me if I had like 
been having these weird dreams where I was like outside of my body. Oh, so she, or, like, like, she knew right away. Yeah. Or like I was like okay. hearing people calling my name in my sleep. And I was like, yeah. Um, and then she had to do like Reiki on me because apparently I like, I guess my soul, whatever, like your astral self that mm. left my body in my sleep. <clears throat> and I guess something. She got lost. Have you ever seen Insidious? Um, all, okay, so yes, but like uh, mo- scary movies blend together for me. Like Insidious, like what are the what are the other ones? Conjuring. Like, Conjuring. They all kind of like if you say a scene, I might recognize. Okay, it. so Insidious is about that little boy who like ends up getting lost in the astral realm, and his dad has to like go in and save him. Did we watch that? With that I've red seen demon? That. Yes, I've seen. Basically, that's like that's what I was going through, except I wasn't like asleep in another world. Like I literally was awake, and I like this thing was attached to me as my aunt says okay damn thank god for your aunt lol that was a lot no i'm kidding could you imagine that was my lie <laughs> oh my god i'm like <laughs> um, wait like was it no that, okay, was, that was actually like true like i can text her right now no i was i didn't think it was a lie that's why i was just like oh my gosh yeah no i've had some like i've only had like one really like ghost story and it was my sister's bachelorette she had this like old like oops it was like a kind of like a church. It used to be a church, but like it was up in like Sonoma, like in the hills, like mm-hmm. and it was like sixteen girls, me and my mom. And first of all, the house was not happy that we were there, but like we didn't feel it yet. Mm-hmm. It was just like stuff like you would hear something and then like there was rooms, but then there was like this like upstairs room with like twin beds, like all lined up. You open this door like in the room and it's just like this long hallway no. to a room with just a chair. Just a chair. And you were staying there. We were staying there for f- three more nights. Mm-mm. And I just remember, like, we saw the chair and we were all like, oh, we're not supposed to be in here. So we all left. And then my mom, she, like, woke up with, like, a huge scratch on her. My sister had a scratch. Like, it was crazy. And, like, they can vouch for this. Like, it's, I was fine. I just was like, and my mom also, like, took an edible and got accidentally, like, a little too high. So I was like, girl, are you sure this isn't, like, <laughs> are you sure this was actually happening? Like, show What's me the this? scratch. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm like, no, you're like, she, show me underneath your nails. I'm like, like girl, let me was, see. She, she could have like, scratched herself in your sleep. Yeah. But no, it was crazy. And I just remember being like, I need to get the hell out of here. Because you, you know when you're not welcome. No, I had, a, like, growing up, I had a lot of experiences. Mm-hmm. I remember, oh, my God, my mom had this, um, this rocking chair. So, like, my mom's, like, really intuitive. Um, like, my mom doesn't, like, sh- if you t- if you ask her, she'll say no. But, like, yeah. she is just, like, she'll tell me not to go somewhere and I won't go. And then I'll get, like, a thousand text messages from my friends. Like, Spencer, you'll never guess what just happened this Oh, always believe your mom. Your so, mom knows ever. It's, it's all. It's true. When I was growing up, my mom used to tell me about, this is what, like, like actually, like, what? Why would you tell? Like, if I had a little kid and I knew there was a ghost in the house, I wouldn't tell them. But, like, my oh, mom yeah. was like, oh, we're comfy cozy with her. Apparently, there was, like, this old lady that used to sit in the rocking chair. And I remember, like, when I was, like, really little, I thought my mom was always just, like, making it up. And I was like, oh, LOL, like, you're so funny. Ha, ha, ha. But then as I was She's get- like, no, we're besties. No, like, I'm not. I remember as I was getting, like, older, I would notice things about the rocking chair that I didn't really, like- yeah i was like "Mm, like maybe my mom isn't like lying about this like okay for example like the rocking chair if i was like alone in the living room it would turn on its Mm. own right or it would start rocking on its own and i remember like the first few times it happened i'd get really scared and i'd be like mommy and then she'd be like spencer calm down like it's just the old lady and now you're just like and now and then after a while it was just kind of like oh okay okay yeah it was like hey girl like Hey, welcome back, old lady. Hey. Like, I won't sit in your chair. Have you ever seen celebrity ghost stories? No. My mom used to make me watch that growing up. Like, I would watch it with her. And it's about, like, these celebrities who basically talk about all their paranormal experiences. Damn. Have you seen, like, the Tyler the Hollywood Medium? Because that's kind of, like, the same thing. The one who, like, will close his eyes and scribble? Mm-hmm. And he yeah. has, like, pe- celebrities come on and, like, he's really good. We actually have the same birthday. Really? Yeah. That's really cool. Hey, what's I, your sign? I'm a Leo. Oh, I'm a Leo rising. People are like, he's such a Leo. I'm, I'm like, a Leo rising. Really? Oh, you're a double Leo. Yeah, I'm a double Leo. I'm a Capricorn sun, Leo rising, and Virgo moon. I'm a Virgo moon. <laughs> you're a Leo rising and a Virgo moon? Yeah. 
That's so crazy. Wow. Why haven't we talked about this before? I don't know. I feel like we should have. You know what we haven't also talked about? I la- the last yeah the first time we met okay so <laughs> we haven't talked about this before but me and Lars have like actually known each other for a hot minute now <clears throat> well since you moved to LA yeah well th- we met at that bar in WeHo yeah it was like after that like Teen Vogue event yes and then everyone kind of like filtered into this bar there's so many bars oh, it was um it was it. no 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 I remember it because we had to go through the um. Oh, the it doors. was revolver. It was revolver. revolver. That's what it was. That's where I met you. That was also the same night I made out with that random German guy. Well, and he was friends. Well, okay. Backtracking. Okay. Kelly Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Arnold, funniest bitch I've ever met. Oh my God. She yeah. Is, I haven't talked to her in forever. No, but she's roommates with the German boy. And so, well, you were too, we were, we were, we were blacked out. Yeah, yeah. So we don't really remember. But no, we were sober. We were so sober. Oh yeah, because we were we weren't <laughs> underage. Yeah, no. But um, Kelly with the German guy, you were making out with him. We literally like I walked over. Spencer's just like talking to him, and then you guys just start like making out. Can I tell you what actually happened? Please, because I didn't get the behind this. We never got to debrief about. Yeah, this. we never got our debriefing. Okay. okay, so basically we go to Revolver, right? Remember when I? Okay, I have actually talked about this before on like my podcast how okay. I went to Revolver, and while I was there, I went with a friend, Lars's said friend by the way. And while I was there, I made out with some random German guy who afterwards was like, I'm straight. And I was like, <laughs> okay, sure. So I'm at Revolver. Well, we are. And while I was there, um, he was at the bar. And I just remember he looked at me and by the time I was there, yeah, I was already like tipsy. But like, and he was too. It was like everyone. Was yeah, no, everyone was. Yeah. yeah. So then I walk over to the bar. He starts talking to me because I was getting myself a drink. Yeah. Um, and then he asked to buy me a drink. So I said, ooh, like is this flirtatious yeah. like this on the third it definitely was and then we ended up like talking i forget what we talked about like literally don't care Sorry. well because I, I saw you guys you were talking i had seen you and i was like i think i know him from tiktok like i should go say something yeah like, we were like you know we had like yeah so then i was like okay but he's kind of like getting into it with this german man i didn't know he was german at the time yeah but then uh I walk up to you and I'm like, hey, like, I'm Lars. I'm so nice to meet you. And you, like, look at me and you're like, oh, my God, it's so nice to meet you. And the German guy just, like, looks at me and, like, he was really says really... some, like, German shit yeah, just, I don't, like, really I don't fast. Like, kind of and spits I actually, in my I face. I actually try to learn German, so I don't know what the hell he was saying. Yeah, no, but he was hot. So oh, no, I know. It didn't really matter. And then um, after you walked away, we ended up just, like, making out. And then... You came over and you were like, Spencer, like, we have to go revolvers yeah. closing in like 20 minutes. And I was, I was like, like, I'm I... not letting you go home with this. And I was like, no, man. please. And then you were like, come on, Spencer, like, we really do have to yeah. go. And then we got our Uber. Well, I got the Uber and then, okay, so we went back to yours. Yes. And then I got the bird scooter. <gasps> do you remember when I fell? Yeah. I literally, I'm afraid to go on bird scooters because, because of, of that. that story. Yeah. So, okay, so long story short, I'm leaving Spencer's. I see a bird scooter. Probably shouldn't have taken a bird scooter this late at night in Hollywood. Like, yeah, what are no. We, what are we doing? Also, I'm surprised you were a- even able to use it because there are certain areas that it doesn't work. Well, that's what happened. I was going and it just stops working. I fall, first of all. Yeah. And then I have to pay like 30 bucks to fix the scooter because it like got damaged. Lie. We lied. We lied. That was our lie. That was our lie. Like we ate that. That was so f- good yeah, yeah no, this is the first time i've ever true, met guys. lars like i've never met him yeah we met before. today yeah but would you have believed that would you guys have believed yeah, what that about you guys that would you... it was good that was so good i knew we were gonna be good though. we ate that up yeah and the fact that we were able to like tie in real life events that have happened right wow. oh so i good. came in like a wrecking ball what have you heard her song the most wait yes but what is it how does it give me the tune Oh my god, wait. Love you the most. Yes, it's like this winter was as As cold cold as you and I. So that song, you know what I found out about it? What? Um, it actually made me want to ball my... Actually, I did cry when I found out the meaning behind the song. You know when you listen to a song and you're like, oh, this is so good. And then you find out what the song is about and it hits ten times harder. Oh yeah, what's it about? Her mom. Mm. That's what she's saying. Like she she's basically talking about how like um like things that remind her of her mother, but also like she want. How do I put this? Like the one line is, "Uh, why do I hurt you so? Is it because mm. I? Is it because you love me the most?" And it's like mm. that unconditional love a mother oh my gives God, that's you. So much sadder than it being about a man. Are you uh-huh. kidding me? And it's it's about oh. like the unconditional love that not everyone, but like at least I was able to growing up. Like yeah. I received from my mother. Totally. Um, and like how. Like, you reach a point when you're, like, 
and you're like your teens and like as you get older yeah. and you kind of like just like brush them off and it's like I will, my mom will always be like my bestie oh my mom's my best friend but yeah. in high school oh it's I, I feel so bad there's so many things that like she doesn't remember because she grew up having four kids saying so many things but like I was like I was never like mean to my mom but there's stuff I do like regret saying like oh I was like, mean yeah I like my mom Ooh. yeah but here's the thing like I just would get, I would just be like, kind of lose my temper a little bit. So I would, I'm like, the best way I can describe myself is like, I'm my mother's mini me. Totally. Like, Same. I'm like my mother copied and pasted into yeah. like a different body. Yeah. Um, and my, I remember when like, my mom would always be like, oh, I would never, um, what's it called? Talk to my parents the way you talk to me, which is true. Like, I know my grandparents would have, but they love to pull that one. It's yeah. like, you guys were saying like mum back then. Like, yeah. like we're not going to talk You guys the were same. saying mum and porridge. Like, <laughs> yeah. come on, guys. Like, we are not on the same page no. here. Um, but I will say that, like, shh, I got my temper from her. Yeah. So it was kind of like whenever we would argue, it was almost like, as I got older, it got better, but especially mm -hmm. in high school, it was like she would say something to me, which was valid. Like, she would say something. She would be angry, but she would, like, say something. And instead of me, like, listening and being like, oh, that makes sense why you're angry, yeah. I would get angry about something. And then I would say it. And it was like we were both angry about different shit. Yeah. But it was just, like, an explosion. It's because, like, when you're so similar, like, obviously you're going to, like, butt heads. Because, like, I would say, like, my mom, <clears throat> like, me and my sister are, like, my mom. And, like, I feel like my two brothers are, like, my dad mm -hmm. just in a way. And I feel like... I like I don't know. When Are you, you the youngest uh, I'm the brother? The youngest of four, three. Guys, Wait, how do I say that? Are you so the youngest? No, I'm an only child. Oh. But I recently found out the other day. Wait, so like, what's your sexuality? Gay, babe. Okay, gay. Well, okay, gay, but like, who knows? I don't want to like label it. Okay, well, I recently found out that like, if you are <laughs> the youngest, to the, be well, if you if you have two older brothers and you're the youngest brother, you are more likely to be gay. I remember hearing that. And I like proof living proof <laughs> proof proof right here living proof no I always remember just being like like it makes sense but at the same time it's like I don't know I wouldn't say it's a choice at all so oh like, yeah no and that's know. what they, that's what they're trying to um what's it called they say so you know the um when it comes to like your XY chromosomes XX what is it mm -hmm. mm, guy or XY for biological I actually don't even okay. uh, so what I, I recently found out is that what they're trying to do is a study to prove that being gay mm. can in fact be biological yeah. like through your dna and the study showed that as so again because you're the youngest brother when you are being um created in the womb yeah the um the chemical i believe it's like literally testosterone right the more, I guess, like, boys a mother yeah. has, it's it's not that the XY is, like, defective, but it's less. Okay. I, like, know nothing about this. Okay. But I'm, like, my, I'm, I could have like, literally just be talking out of yeah. my ass right now. Like, I'm just, I'm trying to piece together, like, 12 TikToks in my brain right now. I feel like my chromosomes are, like, Charlie XCX. <gasps> That's all I know. Slay. Slay. Charlie, can I tell you something, like, really? I yeah. Did you see Charlie? Did you see her when uh, the Spotify did the uh, thingy thingy? No. What? I don't. I think it was like in Miami or something. I don't remember. It just happened, right? Yeah. Was it with Paris Hilton? Yes. I was like, that doesn't look real. I have FOMO. I but do. Oh, it there? was horrible. Oh, it was bad. It was f amazing. Oh, it was so bad. Don't okay. have FOMO. Ugh. It was Thank the God. best. Yeah, no, it was horrible. So bad. Have you seen Charlie XX perform before? Or was it mm -mm, the first that time? was my first time. I've never seen her. She's on my bucket list for sure. You know Austin Mahone? Yeah. <laughs> Why? The one who sings. Mm -mm, yeah, yeah, I know yeah. Austin Mahone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the first time I ever saw him was actually. Well, the first time I ever like met him in person was at Tana Mojo's house. Oh, um, right. Yeah, and sounds about right. he recognized me because I did make an entire video about how much I was like in love with him when I was younger. Um, and he walked up to me and he was like, oh, I saw your video and I like love it, by the way. Oh, and I, you want to nice. know what I said to him? What? 
don't talk to me. Don't look at me. You're not real. <laughs> I was also like, sometimes you can't process yeah. that. You literally have just to be like meeting these people that you've looked up to. You're literally like, no. Yeah, I was under the influence. Yeah, I looked at him and I said, you're not real. Stop it. And then he was like, can I at least give you a hug? And I said, okay, but I'm not hugging you back. <laughs> and like, then, I'm not looking you in the eyes. No, this he hugged me and I literally like imagine me standing with my arms like this. Oh, I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> and then he hugged me and then he walked away. But while I was at the concert, like, well, while I was seeing Paris Hilton, like DJing, he saw me and he waved at me and I did this. Imagine like that. The camera's Austin. Yeah. I did this. <laughs> and then I walked away. Talk. Yeah. And it's not because I don't like him. It's literally because like. You just, you can't process it. It's like, it's, it, it would be like, it's like a childhood crush. Yeah. No, and I just, I can't, like, I can't sit here and I can't act like there's not something between us. It's it's there probably is he probably was feeling it he's probably that's probably why he wants to talk to you yeah one day if you can if you can face it you should you should see what happens watch him be like you're really weird <laughs> like uh, every time I've ever tried to say hi to you you uh, look at me and then you run away so sounds about right though I feel yeah. like he's used to it um don't know what I meant by that <laughs> <laughs> he sounds but like he's used he to it. he sounds like he's used to it his entire fan base when they see him no no you're not real. No, but that that's me. I, I have a hard time. Like, I also, like, don't go up to, like, a famous person, like, if I recognize them, unless I, like, have something I want to say. My rule is, like, if I just know them because they're hot, I can't go up to them. What am I going to say? Right. Hi, I love your content. It's just, like, them doing thirst straps, which is, like, totally fine. But, like, that's my rule. I'm, like, if they're hot, great. Love it. We'll watch you from afar. But, like, I'm not going to say anything unless I, like, that's have something to say. That's why when people, say. like, approach me like yeah at parties yeah and they're like oh my god i love your content and if i don't know anything about theirs like yeah. I, I feel bad but i'm like omg thank you so much how are you and yeah. i just like glaze over that because i'm just like i don't know you can't lie to... about it yeah no yeah. i can't no it's like because but then it's like that's you what can i said to bryce hall too like, oh my god i have a really funny story about meeting bryce hall oh my god wait so do i can we tell them <laughs> yeah wait. yeah we can tell them bryce you know what F it let's go um so it was uh do you know barney's beanery no it's like a bar. There's one in West Hollywood. It's like super fun. You should go. Mm. But there's one in Santa Monica. And I was there with my friend and she was she was facing the restaurant like where everyone was inside and we were sitting outside on the patio. And she was like, oh, my God, Bryce Hall is walking out. Or no, she goes, oh, my God, Bryce is walking out. And I'm like, OK, there's a thousand Bryce's in the world. Like Bryce who? And she was like, Bryce Hall. And so I turn around and like he's walking behind me and then starts to walk away. And I was like, I feel like I have to say something yeah. at this point. So I was like, Bryce. And then he looks at me and I'm just like, <laughs> like thumbs up. And he's just like, and then um, I haven't seen him ever since. But if I see him, I'm going to be like, I know you remember me. Yeah. But we don't have to talk about it. So I have actually met him twice. Okay. So it was at a birthday party and he saw me. He was like at the bar and he saw me because I was at the bar. Yeah. And he was like, I love your content. And he was, and he literally, that's all he said to me. He said, yeah. I love your content. And I said, thank you so much. And then I left <laughs> the party. You're like, I said, thank you. <laughs> like, I, I Mwah, love my you. fans. Mwah. Mwah. I mean, like, what else are you going to say? I feel like that's a valid that's, response. Oh, but then I saw him a second time. And Did this he? was at a Halloween party. Okay. Um, and he walked up, he walked up to me and he, cause he, he walked in, I think with, I'm scared. I forget who he walked in with, but it was like a line. It was like Tana. And then he was like somewhere in this line and he ends up walking up to me and he was like, hi, how are you? As if we had a full conversation before. No offense, Bryce. Like you seem kind of, I don't know you, sorry. <laughs> but I was like, oh, I'm good. How are you? And he literally looks at me dead in the eyes and he's like, do you have like a problem with me? And I was like, what? <laughs> and I he was like, but I feel like sometimes guys think that like everyone has a problem, problem with, with them. them. I'm like, and I was like, I literally said, I was like, I don't know you to have a problem with you. Yeah. And he was like, oh, well you posted a video about me the other day. So I just like thought you didn't like me. Like I thought you hated me. Did you? Yeah, I did. I posted a video <laughs> about him. <laughs> You're like, well, show me the proof he's like okay let me send you no like i actually posted a full video about him but like it wasn't bad i was, what was it? okay so like he did this trend where it was like if i miss i'm slay so like he oh this was recent babe this was like a while ago yeah wait I thought th this trend was kind of recent this one yeah okay continue um like i said this happened around halloween oh this halloween yeah gotcha. not like last one it was gotcha this one. gotcha so he did that video um and <laughs> 
And I made a video being like, oh, like Bryce, you did that a little too well. Oh, I actually think I saw that. Yeah, and I, I was basically calling about. him fruity. Yeah. Um, uh, long story short, he saw the video. Um, he commented on it too. So I was Why like, oh, surprised? there's no problem. Um, what? <laughs> Why are you surprised he saw the video? Oh, I don't. Well, I like, feel like, it, I, I feel like people like, like people in the eye, like I feel like he they keep an eye on what they're being posted about. Yeah, so like he did comment on the video and yeah. he was like LMAO or something along those lines. And in my head, I was like, I feel like he, they like it. It's I'll, like, but like, you know. then he also come out as bisexual like a while ago. Maybe I'm pretty sure he did. If he didn't, then I don't know. But when he walked up to me, he was like, "Yeah, you posted that video," and I just thought, like, you don't like me. And I was like, "That's like, <laughs> like I mean, well, everything is in good." Intentions. I literally was like, "I don't know you, Bryce." Yeah. Like, I have no reason to not like you. Yeah. Like, I, I'm not going to judge you based off of what you post on the internet, even if it's not, like, my cup of tea. Totally. And then he was like, oh, okay, perfect. And then he gave me a hug. Sometimes people just need to know that you don't hate them. Bryce Hall, I don't hate you. BSA. To everyone who thinks that we might hate them. We don't. We don't actually hate you. Actually, maybe some of you. Yeah. Maybe, like, a handful of you, not some. Those who n- will not be named. You know what? <laughs> Let me make something <laughs> well, we're <laughs> If you think I hate you, mm. like being really honest, if you know me in my everyday life and you think I hate you and it's because of like a vibe I give off towards you or it's because like, I don't know, there's only like really like a few yeah. people I can think. Chances are I do. I yeah. do. Like, I mean, like well, you're a Leo. It's like you can't hide what you're feeling. Yeah, no. Like, no. and here's the thing. Like, if I don't like someone, I'm not going to go out of my way to talk to them. No. Like, I'm not going to go out of my way to, like, be friendly with them. I'm not going to go out of my way to see them. Like, if I don't like someone and I know that they're going to be at my friend's house, I just don't show up. Yeah. So, if you think I hate you, but, like, I've hung out with you in the past, like, month or so, or you think I hate you and you've been on my podcast, chances are I don't. Yeah. Because, like, I'm talking to you and, like, I'm seeing you. Um, But, like, if you haven't heard from me in years (laughs) or, like, I don't know, like, you wake up in the middle of the night with nightmares thinking about me. Chances are I do hate you. I have magical power. <laughs> yeah. While we're talking about it, you are a wizard. No, I do. Yeah. Did I ever tell you about did I ever tell you about my curse? No, we just met today, but okay. please tell me about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about the curse. Good Is point. it gonna curse me though? No. Okay. You, no curses on the pod today. Good point. Good point. Yeah, you did. But like we did just spell, meet. Spell. I could use. Oh, some, so some this spice. is how my curse is. Um, I am convinced that I was in a past life was a witch, and that I had my heart broken by a man. So okay. I cast a curse on myself and any life that I live afterwards. You won't. I guys, I'm being so serious. And no, not that I won't find love, but anyone who breaks my future lives' hearts, someone close to them will die. Has it happened before? Oh, it's happened like five times already. Oh. When I was with my ex, I literally told him, like, mm. as we were dating, I said, if you ever break my heart, someone close to you will die. And he thought I was joking. But, like, I was yeah, like, dead. Bitch, I don't joke around. No, I was, like, dead serious. Like, I, it's not, like, it's not something I kid about. Like, yeah. the second guy, okay, so the first guy, um, not going to say his name, but he broke, like, a, not, like, broke my heart, but it was, like, a Fractured. fling, and it was, like, it hurt, and then yeah. his grandma died a month later. Second guy, um, I don't really know what was, like, up with him. Um, he had a lot going on, but he was also, like, really weird, and then, like, his uncle died. Third guy, his brother, um, like, was resuscitated, but he did die for a minute and a half. Um, and then we go to my ex. With him, <sighs> his, like, great aunt died. So it's a curse. And mm-hmm. now you know. And th- that's what they're in for. You know, at least you can give them a warning. I d- and that's the thing. Yeah. Like, I literally, I give out warnings. Yeah. You should, it should be like a contract. Be like, I am not responsible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cheers to that girl. Cheers to that girl. Can you also tell everyone what you're drinking in your cup? So everyone, <laughs> how do I put this? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, f- first of all, I'm okay. Yeah, no, like, I'm mentally sound. But um, what I'm about to tell you might make you think otherwise i'm drinking diet coke and red bull <laughs> mixed, mixed in one cup in one cup um which is totally fine i'm just like i'm drinking red bull it's not so sometimes things aren't always what you think online and that's okay do you like diet coke or like are you like a coke i'm a diet coke girl but i know these two girls um those two sitting over there that every time they drink real coke so every time i go over it's like right but it's good like they make me think can it's i tell good. you something like really messed up sure i is like it about Diet soda. Coke? It's about okay. soda. I like flat soda. Okay. That's but really you know what's so up. weird? I like soda flat, but Cold? like. 
Yeah. Okay. Good. Like that. cold but flat. But with Diet Coke, like anything crispy. diet, it's like diet crispy. Coke. So it's mm-hmm. not like it. It's not like it burns like a regular yeah. Coke. Yeah. But when it comes to like Lacroix, sponsor me, Lacroix. Oh, what's your favorite flavor? Lime. 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 Lime or pure with a lime in it. That's my go-to these days. Like a pure, the pure one with like a. You know what you need to try. It. What? Okay. So what you need to do is you need to do. You, what do you drink out of? Like I drink out of mason jars. Um. I have like this cauldron. No, I'm just kidding. I drink out of just like jars, cups, glass stuff. Anything cute. It has to be cute. Drink it out of a jar. It'll feel 10 times better. Like a mason jar? Yeah. Okay. So what you do, you get your mason jar, you put in some ice, you take a LaCroix can, flip it upside down, let it run down. Okay. Okay. You let it fizz out. Then you get kombucha. Oh, I Hear love me where out. this is going. You literally, I, you know when you make like iced coffee and then like you see the like yeah. creamer go yeah, out? Yeah. Do it with kombucha. Get a piece of lemon, lime right on top. Mm. I'm literally. I have that told I people home. that I drink that for like, like I've told people that I voluntarily drink yeah. LaCroix with kombucha and lime and they, and they look at me good? like I'm crazy. That's okay. Well, beverage girls get it. Are you? You're a beverage girl. I'm a beverage girl. I need at least five. And when you try to explain it to someone who doesn't get it, it's like you're talking you don't get to it. a wall. Yeah. I'm like, okay, you like still water and root beer. You okay, like don't root, talk right. to me. Like, then. Like, what are you like how are you gonna about? come at me about like my choices of flavor and drink when you literally the only thing you drink is like what tap right? water? Like I bring the flavor. You're bringing still tap water right like i am by the way smart water, you drink you tap water i like this is like n- in no way um no it's, it can be an insult well like not not to like people who drink tap water because i used to drink well i i drink see, it, in new but jersey I just need you to were a- it. in new jersey you were able to drink tap water you just can't do that here no and i didn't know that in new york you can drink the water so easily oh yeah and when i was, I was in like, high school yeah. There was a si- okay. So when I was in high school, there was a sink in one of the dressing rooms because again, I was like a theater major in my school. I went to like I went a to trade an school. High school too. Wow. We Did have you so go much for in dance. We also we have to tell people that we're both Leo rising mm-hmm. and, and Virgo, Virgo moon. moon. So basically, to make a really long story short, instead of going to the water fountain, um, if I had like rehearsal, we weren't really allowed to leave. So I would just run into the dressing room and I would turn on the sink and I would yeah. put my mouth under the sink and I would drink the water. You gotta and find that's a way. the thing because in New Jersey the water is clean. It's not the, any other okay. Water. Now I'm gonna go on a little tangent, a little rant. Please do. Let me say one thing, okay? Um, Mr. What's your name? Marco Rubio is that his name? He's a senator. He's a Republican senator. Let's get one thing straight, and I really hope you're listening up right now. You're trying to pass a bill to ban TikTok. Why don't you, I don't know, find something else to do? Like, you're that weird part. for that. Like, you are so weird for that. Like, you guys try this boring. every single year, and it's getting tired. It's getting boring. Like, we need something new. And by we need something new, I mean, like, maybe pass stricter gun laws. Um, maybe prevent school shootings from happening. Maybe, I don't know, protect the lives of the teenagers and children in this country. Instead of stripping away jobs from actual influencers who use TikTok as a way to gain a livable income. Like, you're weird. You're so weird and you're just mad that everyone on TikTok thinks you're a loser. And it's funny because you sit here, you sit here and you want to ban TikTok when you can do something about, I don't know, regulating gun control. But you know what? The NRA fund your campaigns, don't they? Don't they? And that's why you won't because you accept donations from the NRA. So shut the hell up. Do something with your life. And by do something with your life, I mean leave mine alone. Thank you. Mic drop if this mic wasn't on a stand. We I'm not even it. high and I ate him up. Like ate I was saying, up. I was saying last time that when I'm high, I read people so well. All right, everyone. Um, again, the building hasn't burned down. Uh, I God. just read Marco Rubio, who's a Republican <laughs> senator, and it felt actually freaking amazing to get um, chest, Lars sure. before I end this very special episode of I'm literally screaming would you like to tell everyone your social media handles where they can find you any upcoming projects you might be having um, so my at is at Lars Gummer on everything um, Instagram TikTok YouTube but oh what was your lie we did it together oh I did lie in the beginning what was it on my own what was it about my cat that went missing my cat did go missing, but it was oh. it was monkey, not sky. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, this is actually the truth. 
The truth is, you can find me on all social media platforms at Spensoi, and this is also the truth, okay? My podcast comes out every Thursday on all streaming platforms. Make sure to tune in, please. Also, if you want to see this happening live and in action, this is also the truth. Go to the Past Your Bedtime YouTube channel and subscribe. Um, I love you guys. That is also the truth, and have a great rest of your week. Bye! Woo!